there was a king, you know, Jain. This is a king who was steeped in physical pleasure, he really living his life out. So he had a wife whose name was Pingala. Then uh, Pingala said, if two hearts have fused into one, then this is how it'll be. So, on a next hunt when he went, he wanted to check this out. There was a king, you know, Jain. His name was Bharatri Hari. He's the one who wrote the Sringara Shatakam and later on wrote the Vairagya Shatakam. Sringara Shatakam is uh, a composition of poems which are all about passion and erotica. Vairagya Shatakam is complete dispassion and renunciation. This is a king who was steeped in physical pleasure and he really living his life out. One day he went hunting and he shot a antler and killed it. When the antler fell dead, the doe, the female deer which was with it, refused to leave the spot. Risking its own life, it just stood there. This surprised the king. Instead of running for its life, it is just standing there to be shot. And in the process when this was happening, one of the soldiers who were hunting with him was bitten by a snake and he also died. When he died, his wife came and when they set him to flames, it was with great difficulty that her held, they held her off the flames because she wanted to jump into the flames. So he… this just intrigued him. For him, his life was all about himself, his pleasures, his likes and whatever else. When he saw this doe and also this woman wanting to jump into the fire, he… somehow this confused him. So he had a wife whose name was Bengala. So he was talking to her and said, uh, you know, today these two things that I witnessed somehow have set my whole mind into confusion. Then uh, Bengala said, if two hearts have fused into one, then this is how it'll be, this is a natural reality. There's nothing amazing about it, there's nothing intriguing about it. If two hearts are really become one in their experience, this is how it will be. Very matter of factly, she said this. So this further intrigued him, his wife also saying this. He has five hundred women, he cannot understand this. So, on a next hunt when he went, he wanted to check this out. What he did was, he bloodied his clothes with animal blood and sent it back to the palace. And it was announced to Pingala that the king died, he was killed by a tiger. So when she got this bloodied clothes, she put it in a heap, she bowed down to it, then she did go and lie down on it and she simply breathed her last, she died. When he came to know about this, it completely disturbed him so much that him whimsically trying to test her like this and she actually gave up her life. And then he dropped his kingdom and he became a sage and that's when he produced the Vairagya Shatakam, a great work of poetry. This is the nature of the feminine, that consequence is not the important thing. That moment's passion and love is more important 
then what is going to happen out of it? The calculation of what's going to come out of it, if it comes, that's very masculine. Masculine is always thinking about the consequence. The feminine doesn't think about the consequence, it's about what matters now. What you think or what somebody thinks is not the nature of the feminine. What one feels is the nature of the feminine. Should it not be tempered with thought? Yes, it should be when it comes to material aspects of life. But when it comes to life itself, if you are not feminine, then you cannot enjoy it. So this is the nature of the feminine that it is capable of going beyond itself. Only that which is capable of going beyond itself is eligible for a spiritual process. That which wants to protect itself is not eligible for a spiritual process. The Shambhavi is something which can inflame the feminine in you. Because if you don't keep yourself aside, it cannot happen. It's not something that you do. It is something that you allow. That's the most beautiful aspect of Shambhavi is you cannot really do it. Only if you allow it, it's like a flood. If you try to do it properly, technically, nothing will happen because the practice itself doesn't do anything. If you allow it, then the innermost core, which is the basis of creation, finds full expression. 